Iranian armed forces continue their massive military drills in the southern Iran. On day five of the maneuvers, the Iranian Navy tested its latest cruise missiles and torpedoes. The exercise covers an area from the east of the Strait of Hormuz to the southern parts of the Gulf of Aden. Press series correspondent Amir Mahdi Kazemi reports. The largest war games by Iran's army at the southern coast of the country. A new series of weapons that, according to Iran's army, are completely indigenous, were unveiled on the fifth day of the Mohammad Rasulullah military exercise. Nur and Nas were two Iranian cruise missiles that were launched from bases on land towards targets in the international waters of the Oman Sea. Iran's army says that the maneuver carries a message of peace and friendship for neighboring countries, but at the same time reminds the enemies of the Islamic Republic of the army's power of deterrence in the Sea of Oman and the Strait of Hormuz. The ongoing military exercises, codenamed Mohammed Rasulullah, has had different stages. Currently, we are carrying out the naval phase of the drills. On Monday, we test-fired and evaluated the performance of several new land-to-sea missiles, which have been optimized for electronic warfare. Following the operations, Iran's SH-3D helicopters successfully intercepted and hit enemy targets at sea by launching homemade torpedoes towards mock enemy submarines. An integrated aeronautical anti-aircraft radar system also became operational. Radar units conducted Air Force jets towards enemy targets. Elsewhere at the Gulf of Aden, far from Iranian waters, Iran's Navy vessels launched an anti-piracy operation. The military drills currently underway and the successful launch of the new land-to-sea missiles of Nasr and Noor will increase our deterrence capabilities against the enemies. We are sending a message of peace and brotherly cooperation to regional countries through these military exercises. We have to beef up our capabilities and military readiness so that the enemies of Iran will not even dare thinking about posing a threat to the country. The wide-scale military drill covers an area of 2.2 million square kilometers from the east of the Strait of Hormuz to the south of the Gulf of Aden. Iran, which categorically rejects foreign military presence, namely the U.S. and British Navy in the Persian Gulf and the Oman Sea, believes that security and stability in its southern waters could be maintained through joint cooperation between the neighboring states. Iran has the longest coastline in the Persian Gulf and the Sea of Oman region. For centuries, this 1,800-kilometer border at sea, along with the Strait of Hormuz, have put significant and historical responsibility on the shoulders of Iran in maintaining security and stability in the region. The Mohammad Rasulullah military drill enables the Iranian army to improve its defense capability in Iran's southern waters. Ami Mehdi Kazemi, Press TV, the port city of Josk, at the coast of the Oman Sea.